So are you taking statin medications like atovastatin, rosuvastatin, or simvastatin to lower your cholesterol? Well, in simple terms, these medications work by stopping a special enzyme in the liver from making too much cholesterol. By doing that, statin medications lower the bad cholesterol in your body. But here's the thing. It's important to be aware that while they are effective in lowering high cholesterol and reducing the risk of heart disease, they also come with a wide range of side effects that may affect your quality of life. So in this video, we'll be discussing the side effects of starting medications that you must know about. From muscle pain and digestive issues to an increased risk of diabetes and liver damage, we will cover each of these side effects in detail and provide you with the valuable information to help you make informed decisions about your health. Hi, Jedos of the FarmD here. Welcome and please like and subscribe the channel. Number one, muscle pain. So let's say you just started taking a starting medication or you have been taking it for a while and now you are going about your day, try to stay healthy when suddenly you feel pain or weakness in your muscles. It can be a little bit scary. Well, this is something that can happen to some people who are taking statin medications. In fact, muscle pain and other muscle-related symptoms are the most common side effects of statin medications, affecting up to 20% of people who take them. But in most cases, muscle pain goes away within one to two weeks after stopping the medication. So make sure you communicate with your doctor as soon as you begin to have muscle pain while taking the medication. Now, you may be wondering, how can you reduce these side effects? Well, your doctor may consider options like stopping the medication, lowering the dose, using alternate day dosing, or switching to a different statin medication like fluvastatin or pravastatin, which tends to have a lower risk of muscle-related side effects. In addition, some individuals find relief by taking vitamin D or CoQ10 supplements. Remember, open communication with your doctor is the key to finding the best solution for you and taking control of your health. Number two, headache. When it comes to starting medications, headaches can be a common side effect. However, most headaches are nothing to worry about because they often go away on their own as your body gets used to the medication. And if headaches continue to bother you, guess what? There is no need to suffer in silence. Talk to your pharmacist or a healthcare provider about the over-the-counter treatments like acetaminophen, which you may know as Talno. Getting enough rest can also help with headaches. Now, here is the important point. Make sure you pay attention to how bad and how long your headaches last. Even though it's rare, in some cases, statins have been linked to hemorrhagic stroke, a serious condition caused by bleeding in the brain. And one of the main symptoms of this condition is a severe headache. So if you ever experience this kind of headache, do not wait. Seek medical attention. Number three, increase the risk of diabetes. Now, here is what we know. Taking statin medications can be beneficial in lowering the risk of heart attack and stroke if you have type 2 diabetes which is great. However, on the other hand, some studies have shown that statins increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes, especially for individuals who already have pre-existing risk factors for diabetes or are taking high-intensity statins. For instance, higher doses of atovastatin and rosuvastatin. It is believed that Statins interfere with how our bodies release and respond to insulin, which plays a key role in controlling blood sugar levels. Now, with this knowledge in mind, 
it becomes even more important to monitor your blood sugar regularly. If you are taking statins and already have risk factors for diabetes, such as having a family history, being overweight, or having high blood sugar levels. Number four, digestive issues. It's quite common for starting medications to cause digestive problems such as diarrhea, nausea, constipation, and stomach pain. But most of the time, these side effects do not last for long. In fact, they often go away after a few weeks as your body gets used to the medication. And to make things easier, your doctor may start you on a lower dose and slowly increase the dose as the body adjusts. But you can also take simple steps at home to minimize these digestive issues. One helpful tip is to take your starting medication with food, especially foods that are not high in sugar as this can help reduce the chances of an upset stomach. And also, do not forget to keep yourself hydrated and eat foods that are high in fiber, which can help with constipation. Number five, muscle damage. Starting medications can cause a rare but serious life-threatening side effect called rhabdomyolysis. Rhabdomyolysis is a condition where our muscles break down and release a protein called myoglobin into our bloodstream, which can damage our kidneys. Now, I do not want you to panic or get scared because it's quite rare and most people who take statins never experience it. However, it's still important to be aware of the signs and symptoms just in case. So keep your eye out for unusual muscle pain, weakness, or dark urine, and make sure you communicate with your doctor if you notice any of these symptoms. And here's a bonus point. The risk of developing rhabdomyolysis can increase when certain medications are taken together with statins. So let me give you a few examples of those medications. Phenofibrate, gemfibrozil, and clarithromycin. Number six, liver damage. So let me break it down for you. You may have heard that statins can cause your liver enzymes to go up. These enzymes are like a little messengers that let us know if there is any inflammation or damage in your liver. But here is the thing, just because those enzymes go up does not mean your liver is in danger. In fact, liver damage associated with statin use is rare. However, it's important to keep in mind that studies have shown that higher doses of statin medications may have a slightly higher chance of affecting your liver. That's why it's crucial not to take statins if you have liver disease or if your blood tests indicate that your liver is not working properly. Now, with this information in mind, it's important to be aware of the signs and symptoms that may indicate liver damage. So look out for things like dark urine, stomach pain, feeling very weak and tired, loss of appetite, and your eyes or skin turning yellow. These could be indications that your liver needs help. That being said, Let's keep this important point in mind. Each person's body is unique and not everyone will experience these side effects. And remember, the side effects we discussed in this video are not all the things that can happen when you take starting medications. In addition to the ones already mentioned, it is worth noting that some people have reported memory loss, kidney damage, sleep problems, fatigue, and air loss as potential side effects of statins. And there you have it. Remember, knowledge is power, and you have the power to make informed decisions for your health. Stay awesome, stay curious, and keep rocking the knowledge. Thanks for watching.